Thank you for visiting my YouTube channel, Pandemic Survival, helping you survive the board game of Pandemic one turn at a time. Okay, today we're going to be discussing board game theory when it comes to playing Pandemic, specifically placement of the research facilities. What you need to be able to consider when you're... <clears throat> when you're playing Pandemic, is how quickly, obviously, that you can cure a disease and also how quickly you can get around the world. So, obviously, the first place that you have to place a research facility is in Atlanta. But what I have done here is I've actually placed research facilities around the world so you can get an idea of what the best placement is. Again, this is my opinion. What you want to be able to do is if you are at a research facility, you want that research facility to be within reach of another research facility within a move within a turn. So for example, I can go for I can do a shuttle flight from this research facility to this research facility or shuttle flight from here to Cairo or from here to Mumbai or to Hong Kong or to Tokyo. So as you can see, I evenly spread these out. And where this comes in handy is if say for example you are in Chicago. With one action, you can go to Atlanta, do a shuttle flight to another research facility, and in two moves, you are actually in another continent, which is nice. So that's what you want to be able to do. You want to be able to move anywhere in the world as quickly as possible. I also strate strategically place this in Sao Paulo because within... A couple of actions, one, two, three, you could reach Santiago, one, two, three, four moves. You can actually sweep the whole continent and cure the diseases if, or for example, if they're cured, but this is where the remaining cubes are, you can actually eradicate it in one turn. Same thing over in North America with Atlanta, you can go one, two, three, four, and sweep the Western Hemisphere, or one, two, three, four, you could sweep the Eastern Hemisphere. And if you need to get to Tokyo, or you need to get to Asia, one, two, three moves, and you're in Tokyo. Or you could take a shuttle, a shuttle from Atlanta, boom, in one action, and you can go to Tokyo. Now within one, two, three, four moves, you can actually sweep most of Northern Asia, or you can one, two, three, four. You can reach basically anywhere in the world, even this place. One, two, three, four, and you're in Sydney, Australia. So you can do that. Don't forget, you can also go from, if, say, for example, you're in L.A., you can also go down to Sydney from L.A. So if you're, if you're in this research facility, it makes more sense to go to Hong Kong than it does to actually drive and take a ferry or a boat across from L.A. to Sydney. But you can do that. You can go even from Sao Paulo to Hong Kong. And then, in, so that's one action. Two, three, you're in Sydney. One, two, one, two, three, four, you're at another research facility. So that's how I connected these research facilities. They're reasonably close together. They're not beside each other, but they're within one turn of reaching the research facility. So that's what you have to keep in mind 
when you're playing the game of pandemic is spreading out your research facilities so that in one turn you can be in any part of the world and you can also help people now if you add in a dispatcher well that's even better you can actually move a person to a research facility and then when it's their turn they can move wherever they want in the world so i hope that helps helps you survive at least another turn if you have any comments or questions feel free to uh, comment below and then also don't forget to subscribe to this channel for more great videos and thanks again for watching